Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Is fruit good or bad carbs? In this video, I'll share fruit carbs, fresh versus processed fruit, fresh fruit nutrition, whole fruit versus fruit juice, fruit and obesity, and fruit, blood sugar, and diabetes. I'll start with fruit carbs. People on or promoting high fat and protein diets warn eating carbs like fresh fruit can have deadly consequences. Viewers of my high potassium food videos have left comments like too many carbs and or sugar and diabetics should not eat these foods. Some low carb diets ban both oranges and orange juice due to deadly sugar carbs. Some people believe or say they believe eating fruit is as bad or worse than eating a chemically preserved sugary snack cake. The anonymous internet makes it easy for anyone to spread misinformation. Will eating fruit especially sweet fruits, cause death by banana or berry belly? Fruit, like other plant foods, are primarily carbohydrates, fiber, sugar, and starch. They provide some protein and are almost fat-free. Fruit nutrients include antioxidant and anti-inflammatory phytochemicals and essential vitamins and minerals. By comparison, sugar is 100% sugar with zero vitamins and minerals. And like most plant foods, fresh fruit is 75 to 90% water. Even high fat avocados are 73% water. Watermelon at 90% water is taboo on many fad low carb diets. A 7-ounce serving has 12.5 grams of sugar, but it also has 180 grams of water. That's equal to drinking 6 ounces of zero-calorie water. 6 ounces of sugar-sweetened soft drink has about 20 grams of added sugar and zero vitamins and minerals. A 7-ounce serving of watermelon has about 60 calories, but low-carb diets concentrate on its 15 grams of carbohydrates and 12.5 grams of sugar. But watermelon has no added sugar. Is 12.5 grams of naturally occurring fruit sugar bad? Millions of people buy expensive flavored vitamin and mineral waters. This product has 27 grams of added sugar. In the U.S., the recommendation for daily added sugar is 25 grams for women and 36 grams for men. The daily value of 54% in this nutrition facts label is misleading since it provides 110% of the daily value for women and 70% for men. This bottled coffee beverage says its 23 grams of added sugar is 46% of the daily value. Like the vitamin water, the daily value uses 50 grams of added sugars for a 2,000 calorie diet. This is higher than the recommended 25 grams for women and 36 grams for men. The 15% daily value for total carbs equals 280 grams for a 2,000 calorie diet. 280 grams of carbs for a 2,000 calorie diet is about 56% of total calories. Essential nutrients, even sugar, should come from natural foods, not sugar-sweetened beverages and prepared foods. If you need supplemental nutrients, a 5-cent multivitamin and glass of water provides essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants with no added sugar and zero calories. The recommendation to limit added sugars to 25 to 36 grams a day does not apply to fruit since fresh fruit has no added sugar. 
Some people firmly believe all sugars are bad, increasing everyone's risk of type 2 diabetes. The problem is not natural sugars, but total daily carbohydrates from too many highly processed carbs. Fresh fruit was the primary source of natural sugars for thousands of years. There was less risk picking fruit off a tree or shrub than obtaining honey from a beehive. Fruit sugars are fructose and glucose, the same as processed sugar. Fructose gives ripe fruit its sweet taste. It is many times sweeter than glucose. Processed fruit can have no added sugar or a lot of added sugar. This pineapple is canned in pineapple juice with no added sugars. When buying canned fruit, look for 100% juice with no added sugars. Most frozen fruit has no added sugar. Unlike store-bought fruit that is harvested unripened to survive being transported long distances, canned and frozen fruit is picked and processed at peak ripeness. More processing usually means more sugar. Fruit jams, jellies, and preserves are up to 60% added sugar. Fruit-flavored candies are about 85% sugar and starch and 0% real fruit. Flavors come from artificial and natural flavors. Companies love marketing products with real fruit pictured on the package to make them appear to be healthy. Many fruit-flavored beverages have 10% or less fruit juice. Zero and low-calorie beverages are mostly water. If you want to boost antioxidants, eat a low-inflammation diet and take an inexpensive multivitamin. Drying is a process used for thousands of years to preserve fruit, but it also concentrates calories. For example, raisins are dried grapes. One cup of grapes, about 150 grams, has about 105 calories and is 80% water. But one quarter cup of raisins has 110 calories because it's only 15% water. The number of calories for a six ounce serving of fresh fruit ranges from as low as 50 to as high as 150. More carbs equals more calories. There's also a wide range of dietary fiber and a wide range of sugar, but is more sugar bad for you? Eating one six ounce serving of each listed fruit provides almost four pounds of food, a meager 840 calories, 212 grams of total carbs, and 32 grams of fiber. A 2,000 calorie diet that's 50% carbohydrates would leave 48 grams of carbs. The 32 grams of fiber is 30% more than the recommended 25 grams for a 2,000 calorie diet. American dietary guidelines encourage eating four to six servings of fruit daily. Six servings of fruit provides about 90 grams of total carbs. That leaves 160 grams of carbs for a 50% carb, 2,000 calorie diet. There's no evidence eating a plant-based diet causes diabetes, high blood sugar, or heart disease. So why do low-carb diets insist eating fruit will kill you? First, fruit juices are convenient, but they are less nutritious than eating whole fruit. Popular fruit juices include apple, cranberry, grapefruit, orange, and pomegranate. Compared to whole fruit, fruit juices have zero fiber and more sugar per serving. An 8-ounce glass of orange juice has 26 grams of carbs, 110 calories, and 0 grams of fiber, compared to 15 grams of carbs, 60 calories, and 3 grams of fiber 
for a navel orange. In addition to extra calories and zero fiber, higher levels of sugar and acid in fruit juices can cause tooth decay. That doesn't mean you should never drink fruit juices. Total daily carbs is more important than the amount of natural sugars in an occasional glass of juice. Low-carb diets love linking fruit to America's obesity epidemic. They insist fruit is high in sugar, that sugar causes blood glucose spikes, blood glucose spikes increase appetite, increased appetite increases body fat, and increased body fat leads to obesity. This fruit leads to obesity rationale is a myth. Most people do not eat enough fruit to become overweight or obese. It's easy gaining weight on a diet that provides more refined carb calories than fruit calories. As I've mentioned, some people are convinced fresh fruit causes blood sugar spikes, increased appetite, and weight gain. Instead of reducing or eliminating highly processed carbs, low-carb diets love to restrict all carbs to as little as 10 grams a day. Millions of people want to lose weight fast, and low-carb diets claim the path to fast weight loss is eating a high-fat and protein diet. For a person needing 2,000 calories a day, 50 to 60 percent carbs is considered sky-high. Low-carb diets shoot for 10 to 60 grams a day. 10 grams of carbs, or 40 calories, is 2% of total calories. But why restrict carb calories to 2 to 12% of total calories? There are several misleading reasons. A popular myth is if you have diabetes, fresh fruit has way too much sugar. This myth is directed at overweight and obese people with type 2 diabetes. The myth is sometimes accompanied by claims that U.S. doctors are corrupt and know nothing about nutrition. They're bribed by Big Pharma to keep Americans on prescription medications. That's why doctors and medical websites allow diabetics to eat fruit so they will be on prescription diabetes meds for the rest of their life. As I've shared, weight gain and type 2 diabetes are not caused by natural sugars in fruit. They're caused by diets providing more calories than the body needs to maintain a healthy weight. Diets high in inexpensive, highly processed, high-calorie refined foods. To prevent or cure type 2 diabetes, one must limit refined, highly processed carbs, not eliminate fruit. The way to limit processed carbs is by eating a diet of minimally processed foods, including fruit. Some takeaways from this video is that except for very low carb fad diets, fresh fruit is neither high in carbs or sugar. There's no evidence eating fruit leads to weight gain or type 2 diabetes. Replacing high-calorie processed foods with fruit can help you lose and maintain weight. Fruit is naturally high in antioxidants, fiber, and essential vitamins and minerals. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating!